maybe I was just in my grief era of 2023 and to be honest I I was grab me to order the physical copy let me put it in my Amazon cart hold please what's up girl welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing well whenever you get the opportunity to check out today's video so i am going to be sharing with you all my top five reads from 2023 although i did not reach my book goal in 2023 i definitely read some books that are worth sharing and they live in my head rent free so of course i wanted to share with my friends Girl, I feel like 2023 was a year for me to explore new authors and really settle into different genres and appreciate them for all of their glory and identify the genre that girl i think i love most of all and it is very clear from my top five picks that all things fiction is what i love contemporary fiction um coming of age historical fiction all things storytelling i absolutely love it's just something about the character development and being able to connect with characters while in a story and just seeing how it unfolds is just something so beautiful to me and again that's just very clear in all of the books that I'm going to be sharing with you. Um, towards the end of this I do want to mention two honorable mentions and although they're not in my top five I absolutely love these books and I wanted to share with you anyway. So yeah I hope you guys enjoy. Let me stop rambling and let's dive into the video. Okay, so I'm going to mention these books in no particular order. And I also wanted to mention that I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about these books. I'm just going to be speaking from my experience as a reader and the way that these books made me feel. So if you're not familiar with any of these books, definitely look them up, but I'm not going to be kind of going over the synopsis and all the things. Um, just because I feel like I want to share with you guys my my point of view and my experience as I was reading these books so that you guys really understand why these are my top five of 2023. The first book that I want to talk about is A Man Called Ove by Frederick Bachman. This was my first book by Frederick and it will not be my last. I already have another one of his books on my shelf. Now this is definitely not going to be everyone's cup of tea and I know that there's a movie or a show um, that is out. I have not watched it to be honest y'all. I'm not the biggest TV person but this book made me feel all of the feels. I felt joy. I felt sadness. I felt grief. Like I felt as though I could connect with the characters in this book in so many ways. Just the topics that it covered, the touch on, check on your strong friends, check on your neighbors that you would not normally check on that you feel are a grouch or that they have it all together. You really never know what someone is going through. And so the level of kindness that was shown through this book, while again, exploring that grief and sadness and loneliness that so many people go through, y'all, I felt all of that just true raw emotion I just absolutely love this book I would recommend it to anyone because I feel like depending on where you are in your life you'll be able to get something from this and it also touches on the fact that family is not always blood you never know who is going to be your family as we walk through this thing called life and everyone needs someone and that's okay it it just really, really has a special place in my heart. And y'all, check it out. I I can't say enough good things about it. I absolutely loved it. Girl, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. First off, you can't tell me that Evelyn is not a real human being. It is something about the way that Taylor Jenkins Reid writes her characters. I also read a short story by her in 2023, but this right here, hands down, makes Taylor Jenkins Reid one of my favorite authors that I discovered in 2023. 
I love everything about this book. It is so empowering for someone to say, okay, y'all didn't, y'all didn't had y'all say about my life. So let me tell y'all the real, the raw, the ugly, the nitty gritty, despite how it makes me look as a person. It is something so humbling about that. And that's just what this book is. It had me on the edge of my seat the entire time because it just took me from one extreme of emotion to the next and the way that she explains love and how you can love people in different ways in your life it's something I've never experienced in a book and I was just like Girl, it was heart-wrenching to really understand the different relationships that she had and what they meant to her and how they molded her as the human being that she was. Like, y'all, this book right here, everything. I could actually see myself rereading this at some point or another in the future. Like, I absolutely love this and I cannot wait to explore more of her writing in 2024. Can we all have a friend named Elizabeth Zott? I say Zot. some people say Zot. What do you say? I like Zot, so that's what I'm going with. I have not watched the show. Again, I'm not the biggest TV person, but listen, Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garms was my first read of 2023, and this book lives in my head period. I absolutely loved everything about this and the biggest takeaway that I got from this is no matter how many times someone tells you no, you continue to show up until you get a freaking yes. She faced so many different challenges, especially because the time period this book was written in. Y'all, I felt every emotion that she felt to be honest, every one of these books that I'm going to mention to you has some level of grief in them. And maybe I was just in my grief era of 2023. And to be honest, I, I was. I felt like I was walking with her on her journey as she explored being a professional, as she explored grief, motherhood, loneliness. And I absolutely loved, loved the part that the dog played. 6.30, listen to me, I thought that was so cute because our pets play a significant role in our lives, whether we want to admit it or not. And so when they when stories and authors incorporate pets in a way that is like therapeutic to their human, I absolutely love that. The people that read this book, if you get it, you get it. Her matter of fact personality. <laughs> she was just so like, no, this what it's gonna be. If it make you uncomfortable, then that's cool. It was almost like she was aware, but yet unaware of her sarcasm. And I love that about her. She was a boss. Like, let's just call it what it is. Miss Elizabeth was a freaking boss on all levels. So yeah, I can't rave about this book enough because I absolutely love just exploring the world through this character's eyes and her being able to overcome the different obstacles up until the very last moment of this book. Like I, I was rooting for her. I was really rooting for her because I just wanted her to have a happy ending because I felt like she deserved that. So yeah, I can go on and on about this book, but if you have not checked it out, I highly, highly, highly recommend it because I just loved it so, so much. This is my last read of 2023 and it is Remarkably Bright Creatures by Shelby Van Pelt. I love this. Definitely, again, exploring a level of grief, but the way that these characters come together is such a heartwarming full circle moment. Some magical realism in here with the octopus having a voice, being a character in that, and I loved that element of this book. I love that Tova was able to get what she needed. Tova is one of the main characters in this book and she was experiencing grief and loneliness and just when she thought that all hope was gone, 
there was hope and I love stories like this one of community people coming together when you feel like you don't need anyone you definitely need someone so check on your strong friends and you're likely to find relationships and connections in the most unlikely places so I I love this. This book makes me smile and it was a really great way to end my reading in 2023. I just, I ate this book up. It was so good guys. Last but certainly not least is a book that I read on my Kindle in March. I just looked at today on my Goodreads and oh what a read it was. It's called These Impossible Things by Selma L. Wardani. I believe that I'm pronouncing that correctly and guys this book is just so beautiful and I know I said I wasn't going to go into too much detail about the book but I feel like I need to set this up for you guys because I've never heard anyone talk about this book and I don't know why it's just so it's so good if you love stories of coming of age friendship love um, experiencing the dynamic of other cultures then you will eat this story up you have three main characters and they have been childhood friends it's keys Malik and Jenna and you get to see them at a pivotal moment in their life when they are starting to experience love and you get to see the different dynamics that their culture has placed on them as women um, when it comes down to marriage and their belief system and they're just trying to figure life out for themselves and identify the things that make them happy and the things that they're going to want out of life and at one point in the story they just kind of fall out right they they don't see things the same way and on this same path as they have been taught all of their life and so they're trying to figure out how to navigate that but they come back together and it's such a full circle moment I don't want to say too much more than that because I don't want to give the book away but this book covers some really hard topics so just be mindful of that but it's so beautifully written and the way that they show up for one another is something is something that I feel like as women we all desire to have that in friendships I got emotional several times in this book because again it just covers some really really hard topics and this author she did her damn thing in making you see how different cultures and different beliefs can add pressures to our lives as we develop into adulthood and she did it in such a tasteful way that I just feel I just feel like is just so worth talking about and so worth mentioning. Girl needs to order the physical copy. Let me put it in my Amazon cart. Hold please. Switching gears to honorable mentions. I could not close this out without mentioning uh, Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. Although this did not make it into my top five, it was hands down the best romance that I read in 2023 period like I gave this book a 4.5 stars absolutely loved it and I cannot wait for her new book to come out which is going to follow another friend's story Soledad I believe and I cannot wait for it to come out Kennedy Ryan is an auto buy author for me at this point listen sis I I became so impatient with this book because it was so good like I was like Kennedy let me know what's about to happen but it covers some topics in the black community that we don't see talked about too often and we don't see really explored in black love and so I did really enjoy this book there was just one relationship that I was like 
okay that was unnecessary but other than that I felt like it was so good I feel like the way that the children's voices were written was so good because it was able to kind of open up the conversation about what children experience when their parents are divorced and them to have a voice so i absolutely love that as well so this is definitely an honorable mention the hype was definitely real for me i love this book the last book that I want to mention is another honorable mention and listen to me. I listened to this book on Audible. It was Viola Davis Finding Me. Raw, humbling, like so thick and heavy with truth. Listen, she spoke to us from a place of realness it was almost like she was saying this is my shit that i had to work through to get to where i am and as a black woman i appreciated that and to hear her tell her story in her own voice through audible it was nothing like it i feel like it's one thing to read the book but it was a whole nother thing for me to hear it come out of her mouth she did her thing i felt all of the feels listening to this beautiful black woman tell her story and her truth and i feel like as a woman it allowed for us to just kind of put our hair down and say oh shit girl me too like listen i feel like we could all relate to her at some point or another maybe not everybody but quite a few people probably can relate to her story and be like it may not have been exactly what you experienced but the feelings that you have yeah i felt that before like you could have it all and inside Feel like you don't have anything and i felt that like i felt that so i absolutely loved her story and i feel like if you have not listened to it on audible you really are not experiencing the full essence of this body of work it's just so well done so beautiful and i absolutely loved it girl <laughs> as always i feel like i have ran my mouth enough and i must say that this was a feel good video like i absolutely love sitting down talking to you guys about my favorite books of 2023 and i hope that you guys enjoy listening to me if you all have read or checked out any of these books or plan to add any of them to your tbr for 2024 let me know down in the comments but I definitely have felt a connection with all of these books that I shared with you all today. And I loved each and every freaking one of them. I would recommend these books to just about anyone, but I definitely feel like for some of these stories, you're gonna have to be in the right state of mind to digest them. Um, fiction is not a genre for everyone because it can cover some really hard topics, but overall, I am so grateful that I was able to experience all of these worlds in 2023 and I cannot wait to venture off into my reading journey in 2024. So yeah, let's get the comments popping. Thank you guys so much for being here. And as always, girl, make sure you are taking care of yourself and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, friend.